morning, D.C. I'm Sarah. And I'm Julian. And here's your news for Wednesday, January 27, 2016. Today is National Chocolate Cake Day. If you're going to the London and Paris trip, don't forget there is a meeting tomorrow evening at 6 in the Media Center to go over important trip information. It is mandatory that you and your parent attend this meeting. See Mr. Easley if you have any questions. Attention students going on the Thursday game. The student section for tomorrow's game will be located behind our team bench on the floor. Attention students that plan to attend CUNA. There will be a Y Club meeting today after school in Mr. Easley's room. If you absolutely cannot attend, please come see Mr. Easley tomorrow morning at 745 for the makeup meeting. Key Club members, there will not be a meeting Friday, January 29th. Our next meeting will be February 5th at 730 in room 238. Attention AP students, AP exam registration begins February 1st and closes on March 11th. The cost is $92 per exam. See the DCHS homepage or Ms. Shaw for more details. Attention JCL members, see Ms. Shafishi in room 201 for a con convention forms. The, the $50 deposit is due Friday. Any questions, see Ms. Shafishi. Attention students, if you're taking the February ACT, make sure to take advantage of upcoming test prep sessions. Check your student emails from Ms. Colbert for more information. Attention students, CPR and first aid classes have been rescheduled for this Saturday, January 30th from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in the Media Center. If you are signed up and cannot attend, please see Ms. Kimbrell ASAP for a refund. Attention driver's ed students from the first semester. If you have not picked up your completion certificate yet from Mr. Driscoll, may, you may do so during CCR this week. Attention students, intramural forms are due today. If you do not turn in your roster today, you, your team will not be added to the league. Fees can be turned in as late as Friday. Games will start Sunday at 6.30 in the main gym after the girls' basketball game. Heads up, freshmen. <clears throat> All freshmen are invited to attend the Winter Frost Fest for free on Monday, February 1st. Free pizza and drinks will be served at 5.45 p.m., followed by the boys' and girls' basketball games. D.C. will play host to Apollo. The boys' game will begin at 7 p.m. and the girls' game will begin at 6. All class members of 2019 will be admitted free with school ID. There will be spirit items and giveaways. A few class of 2019 t-shirts will be available for $10. A free sports bottle is included with purchase. Any questions, see Ms. Skimmyhorn. DCHS graduate Katie Bouchard is collecting used eyeglasses as a part of the Spreading the Gift of Sight Around the World service platform for the 2016 Miss Kentucky pageant. Prescription reading and broken glasses can be accepted. Please see, send any used eyeglasses to DCHS Youth Center. Upperclassmen, the Hobie Leadership Academy is taking place at Loyola University between July 7th and 12th this summer. You can earn five college credits from George Mason University for successfully completing the program. Deadline to apply is January 31st. See Mr. Hayden in guidance for more details. Yo students, the Green River Area Development District has hosted a youth summit on Friday, March 11th. It is open to 20 DCHS students to attend 12 leadership sessions help, held at OCTC from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Breakfast and lunch will be provided See Mr. Neil Hayden in the guidance office by February 5th to register. Cinderella's Closet of Western Kentucky is asking for your help. Cinderella's Closet is an organization that helps girls in Western Kentucky attend prom. Prom can be so expensive and they're here to help. Cinderella's Closet is accepting gently used dresses, prom shoes, and accessories. You can bring your donations to the Youth Service Center in the guidance office. Please dig through your closet, ask a friend at school, church, or work if they have any donations. They are accepting donations for the next two weeks. Anything is greatly appreciated and will make a huge difference to someone. Last year we helped over 70 girls and we are expecting more this year. That's all your news for today, DC. Have a phenomenal day and we'll see you tomorrow.